Right, I thought I'd just show you this. It's, um, I picked up this um, <coughs> 1964. It was made in um, Evanry Yacht Twin Outboard Motor as a non runner. It wasn't running when I got it. Um, and the main reason it wouldn't run is because of um, the magneto coils has failed. The, the, um, the insulation had broken down, which is quite common on these apparently. Um, but anyway, to, um, I just wanted to make sure the rest of the motor was alright before I kind of spend it on new magneto coils, which I have done there over there. I'm just about to fit those. So I, I managed to get it running without magneto coils and I just thought I'd just show you how to, how to do that. Uh, you need a car battery and a car ignition coil. But in this case, case I needed two because it's um, a two-cylinder two engine. Um, anyway, this is the circuit uh, you need. This is what I made up. Um, uh, started with the battery, the negative side of the battery goes to the the chassis of the motor um, and the positive side of the battery goes to the positive side of the coil um, the car ignition coil the negative side of the uh, the ignition coil you need to link to the non-earth side of, of the set of points um, you'll find one side of the points is connected to earth, so it's that they're actually switching to earth. Um, so the points need to be alright, and the, the, the capacitor needs to be okay as well. Uh, so that's the circuit, it comes out of the, the negative side of the, the coil to, to the points, out of the other side of the points to earth. Um, I won't go into the theory, but um, Economy wrecks and collapses the magnetic field of the coil, and that's what induces the very high voltage for the spark plug. So, anyway, you can see the, the wiring in there, how I did it on this particular engine, and that's the, that's the car battery. Um, I've actually been running it like this for quite a long time. I've had a boat on the sea and rivers and everything, and it's been uh, have been really good, it runs just normally. So, anyway, to prove that it does work, I'll, <laughs> I'll put the flywheel back on and the recoil starter place which goes on there, and then um, I'll fire it up. Well, I've got it back together now, so um, we'll start it up again. can be a bit tricky to start, but it runs beautiful once it's going. Uh, So that's the, um, the motor running, a magneto engine without magneto coils. Um, you'll find after um, about 1982, uh, magneto engines started using electronic magnetos, which are much more reliable, they're uh, better insulated than everything and very rarely fail. But if you, if you get an old engine um, pre-1982 where the core of the magneto cores have failed, that's how to get it running. So uh, hopefully in some stage in the future that will be useful to you. So thanks, thanks for watching. Mm.